it's friends of um <clears throat> retail so deuce did you yeah. have some truffle butter over the weekend oh mark bolger you know i can't stay away from the truffle butter that's my new <laughs> that's my new, your thing. new thing it's my huh? new thing yeah. yeah it makes me feel a little fancy you know what i mean i know yeah you yeah. are fancy i do my best yeah. yeah all right i'll tell you what let's uh, i i have to say that i don't know if this is as strange as last week's episode be hard to be but it's still pretty strange. Uh, take a look at the Facebook page of some of your major big box retail stores around here and what the people are writing to them. What the people have to say. Yeah. Darren says, have you ever read the Declaration of Independence? Um, not recently. No. I don't know if you have. Yeah. Not recently. No. Yeah. But I did read Corey Feldman's autobiography. <laughs> It doesn't have anything in it about freedom, but it has a lot of stuff about the Goonies in it, and it has mm. a clever title. It's called choreography oh yeah oh so, you know same thing basically easy to remember yeah of course yeah any uh chapters on truffle butter uh there's much more interesting things than truffle butter <laughs> going on in uh cory feldman's life <laughs> okay moving right along billy says is my mom there word of advice to billy a good policy going forward is not to open the door to mom jokes like there's no <laughs> good that can come of this you're leaving yourself wide open here and if you're concerned about, like, I don't know, he's clearly, uh, he doesn't know where his mom is. Right, I mean, so he's writing to the big box retail store. Well, maybe what he should do is go to that big box retail store if he's so concerned about it. Buy one of those uh, invisible electric fences for the mm. yard or something mm-hmm. if he's mm-hmm. worried about his mom getting away. I, I don't really know how to solve your problem. Just, you know, yeah, come up Billy, your here. mother's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Angie says, why do your stores not have Wi-Fi? Good question, Angie. Not like we're trying to power a 700,000 square foot store where we need to check the inventory on a moment's notice or anything. Angie wants to check her Twitter feed while she buys kitty litter. That's, uh, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Feel free to camp out in an aisle, read some Reddit, and, uh, and search for other stores' websites for a better deal while you mooch off of our internet connection. Why didn't we think of this one, Angie? <laughs> Sound a little paranoid there. Okay, that's another edition of Friends of Retail.